Welcome back to the workshop set. This is gonna turn into a segment, but I'll cover that in a moment. First off, right now, today, we're gonna to be looking at if really high wattage power supplies actually use more power than a power supply that's tuned for your computer. That means power from the wall. So what we have is a 450 watt power supply, a 750 watt power supply, a 1200 watt power supply, and a 1500 watt power supply. We're gonna run our 5930K and a 980Ti through some stress tests using IDA64 system stability test and Furmark just to get the wattage up there and then test each power supply, read the wattage from the wall, figure out what's going on. It's a very straightforward answer the question style video and that's what the workshop is gonna turn into. I've been kind of grappling with what I wanted this to be over the last few videos that I've done in the workshop. That being, and you can check these out up here, the where should case fans be or how many case fans do you need video and does your cable management actually affect your thermals throughout your case video. There's gonna be more of these. There's already one on the schedule coming up soon. If you guys have ones that you might want me to cover live testing things in front of you guys on the workshop set in the future, hit me up on Twitter or comment in the, the comment section down below. My Twitter should be on screen, but just in case, it's at Luke underscore LAFR. I'd love to answer whatever crazy things you'd like me to try to figure out. Intel brings DDR4 to the mainstream with their new Core i7-6700K and Core i5-6600K processors. Check out the link in the video description to learn more. Hello everyone, this is Future Luke. Uh, this is Luke from further on in the video, and I'm wondering right now if you guys would be interested in a little experiment. There's gonna be a straw poll link somewhere, and I want you guys to vote before you see the rest of the video, which power supply you think is gonna win. Which one is going to use the least wattage from the wall to power this computer in this scenario? Let me know. I'm interested. What do you think? So we're gonna start off with the power supply that was already in this test rig. This is my standard graphics card test rig. This is way too much wattage potentially on the power supply, so this is a little bit overshooting it. So after that, what I think I'm probably gonna do is step it down a little bit, go to the 750, then the 450, then do the 1500i after that. We're gonna wait a few minutes just to make sure that the power stabilizes, maybe three to five minutes, and then we will read the power wattage reader from the wall that's plugged in back here. So I decided to change what test we were using. I went back to my old school tried and true Crisis 3 Skybox test because using IDA 64's system stability test and Furmark gave me variations of about 374 to about 405. So I'm gonna continue onwards. This is 351 plus or minus three. Seems to be pretty accurate within that range. Next up is the 450 watt power supply. Let's see, it's, it's within range. I'm just wondering how much watts it's gonna use. How many watts it's gonna use. Ooh, English. This is supposed to be a troubleshooting video. Huh? Oh. So the monitor's power was unplugged. That almost freaked me out. All right, here we go. Time to load up Crisis 3 again. Do the skybox test and get our second set of numbers. So the variance on the 450 watt was 364 plus or minus four. So a little bit more of a variance window there and more wattage. But there's another interesting thing to look at here. When you step up in power supplies, your 80 plus rating almost always goes up. Our 450 watt power supply is bronze. This next one I'm gonna test, the 750 watt, is gold. The 1200i is platinum. The 1500i is titanium, 80 plus rating. They're more efficient. We'll get more into the efficiency talk a little bit later on, but for now, time to step up to the 750. All right, our tests with the V750 are done, and the results were 345 watts plus or minus one. That's our lowest wattage amount yet, but not our highest 80 plus efficiency rating on the power supply because just the rating is not the only thing that matters. Let's try the 1500i. That's the titanium rated 80 plus power supply. Just look at it. It requires a proprietary cable. It's all about efficiency curves. We're probably not gonna land in the right spot. One of the cool things about these videos is if you watch it and you're like, oh my goodness, you did this one specific thing in a way that I don't think is right for this test. Cool. 
tell me in the comments. I'll do a video and we'll see if it matters. This whole series is about like answering questions that people might have or exploring different things. All right, so our last power supply is installed. The X1500i is set up and good to go. If you guys thought I was rough on it, check out one of these videos where we massively abuse Corsair AX power supplies. It's not because we dislike them, it's mainly because they can take it. All right, let's run our last skybox test. So the 1500i came down to 340 watts plus or minus three. It won. In terms of their positions, the 450 watt was in last place, then the 1200i, then the 750 watt, then the 1500i. A little bit confusing why you might ask. It comes down to efficiency charts, which is actually listed on all of these power supplies, which is great because it makes it really easy for visuals. The titanium rated 1500i, its peak efficiency on American plugs, so 115, is at about 94%. For instance, if we move down to that bronze rated one, its peak efficiency on North American plugs is around 85%. It limits things. It doesn't mean that you can't be very efficient on a, say, bronze rated power supply. It just means that to be very efficient, you're gonna need to be right on the sweet spot of the curve. And something like a titanium power supply, you're pretty much always gonna be pretty damn efficient. But it will be better if you're at the sweet spot of the curve. And then that 750 watt, had a little bit of an irregular curve. It was a little bit earlier on where it peaked, where most of them were peaking right around 50%. So efficiency matters. 80 plus is a rating of efficiency, but you wanna know where you are on the curve. That also matters. Find the sweet spot for the power supply that you're buying and try to make sure that you're in it to save money on your power bill. But ultimately, do higher wattage power supplies use more power? No, that, no, they don't. Crunchyroll is a site created by anime fans for anime fans. They offer the most current episodes of new shows straight from Japan, like Erased and Active Raid. And they have a large collection of the most popular anime series, like Naruto and One Piece, who, who of which basically everyone has heard of. And all of the content on their site is professionally subtitled. Head over to crunchyroll.com slash Linus and you can sign up for a 30-day free trial of Crunchyroll Premium. With that, you can enjoy the many benefits of premium, like ad-free 1080p streaming, getting new episodes straight from Japan, like I mentioned, within an hour of their premiere, and being able to stream anywhere, anytime from a variety of devices, like your phone, your tablet, or even potentially your game console. And you can continue your premium membership to Crunchyroll for only $6.95 per month. So head over to crunchyroll.com slash Linus and check them out. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more of these kind of videos where we just try to answer some question you guys may or may not have, let me know in the comments down below what you want me to check out. Thanks for watching. You can get a shirt, link in the description. You can use our Amazon affiliate code to help us out by buying stuff. You can be a contributor on the forum. You get a cool badge. There's new forum software. It's also pretty cool. You can have a cool badge on the cool software, which is a cool forum with cool people. It's pretty right. You can click up here. See our previous video where we checked out uh, how cable management affects your airflow. Looking at mine, you might be able to figure out that it, it maybe didn't matter a ton, but I'd go watch it anyways because it's actually kind of funny.